the gravy, all the sides. So there was a lot of cooking ahead. Maybe you're getting a jump start today. But remember, cooking and the gathering and all that comes with potential for germs. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Chris Sonnigan is going to take us around the kitchen. He's going to show us the best ways to keep that turkey dinner safe and delicious. If you have the honor of playing cook this Thanksgiving, spread the thanks, spread the butter, but do not spread the germs. Every year, the USDA warns us how to avoid foodborne illnesses so we don't serve up some sickness on the holiday. First, the obvious. Wash your hands, wash your utensils, but do not wash the turkey. It doesn't matter what your grandmama told you, the USDA says washing a turkey can cause bacteria from the bird to splash across your sink, kitchen, and countertops and cause cross-contamination. So, if you want your turkey bacteria-free, don't do it here. Do it here. You can assure that your turkey is safe to eat by cooking it to an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees all the way through. Just make sure you don't use any plates or utensils that may have touched raw meat. And of course, those leftovers. Refrigerate anything perishable within two hours of it being cooked. Because when you've worked this hard on something, you want it to last a few days. In the kitchen, I'm Chris Sadegi. I want to know where he bought all that food. Because I don't <laughs> think he cooked it. He said that's the first and last uh, you know, kitchen story he'll be doing. I think it's interesting. I, I, I'll just say this about Chris. I'm not sure that uh, I, I trust his cooking skills. Okay. I trust his eating skills. Right, yeah. I think he probably knows what he's talking about. Hands that. down. Yeah. So that means no putting your finger in and hmm, I may be guilty of that. Yeah. Well, it's your, your own terms. <laughs>